There is a certain percentage of Republicans in America who do not like to vote the way that America now is voting and will vote in 2024. You run the RNC. What are you doing actively to make sure that Republicans understand the new rules in states where it applies? We have to vote early. And why do I say this? We've launched Bank Your Vote, text bank to 80810. But I'll tell you why, Bill, if you vote every year, which I guess you do, if I get your vote in that first voting day of the 45 day period, it costs me a lot less money and then it frees up money so I can go chase new and independent and swing voters. So you've got to bank your vote early. If there's a 45 uh, day vo voting window, you got to vote the first day. Here's how I put it. You're a football fan. I know you're a football fan. You don't wait to the fourth quarter to start scoring. If you have four quarters of a game, you got to start scoring in the first quarter. You might quarter. if you're the Giants. Uh, may, you might if you're the Giants. <laughs> the Lions won, so I'm a Lions fan. That's so we'll, let's use the Lions against Kansas City. But this is, we have to play by the but rules. But you have President field. Trump last week even said, like, that. Your, your votes won't count necessarily. I mean, I'm paraphrasing, but when he was on the ta in the town hall, he said, you know, there were he was frustrated with what he saw in 2020. And if you look at Georgia in those runoffs, well, a lot of people didn't turn on to vote because they thought it wouldn't matter. Yeah, and that, and he's done a video. Trump has done a video for BankYourVote.com. We need people to do it. And laws have changed. Georgia's changed a lot. They put voter ID and that's why the DOJ is suing them, right? Mm -hmm. So Trump's right. In 2020, they got rid of all voter ID requirements pretty much universally across the country and did all mail-in voting. We've changed that in a lot of states. And we're going to launch maps for each state so you can track your ballot. But if we let Democrats get a 45-day head start and think we're going to get it all done on Election Day, we're not going to win. Um.